what we're trying to do right now is to find the coordinates of a and b right so we're given the equation of the function f of x and we are told that a and b are the turning points so let me show you something real quick so for 9.1 we know that f of x is equals to 2x to the power 3 plus 3x to the power 2 minus 12x right so we want the coordinates of a and b a and b are the turning points so if we derivate this function we're going to get an equation for the gradient but if we equate that gradient to zero we're going to find the x values for a and b because the gradient is equal to zero at the turning points so what am i saying i'm saying that if we say f prime of x so we're derivating right now using the so-called power rule uh, we're going to get 6x squared plus 6x minus 12 right this is the gradient this is the equation of the gradient for our function so at the turning points we just need to equate this uh equation to zero and find the x values so if we do that we're going to get uh, zero being equals to 6x squared plus 6x minus 12. so what we can do we can take 6 as a common factor in the right hand side we're going to get 6 is equals to 6 uh, we're going to be left with x squared plus x minus 2. we can divide both sides by 6 right 0 divided by 6 that will just give you 0. Uh, if we do that we're going to get 0 is equals to x squared plus x minus 2. So now we can go ahead and factorize. What are we doing when we factorize it, right? We're looking for two numbers that when we multiply, we're going to get minus 2. And when we add, we're going to get the coefficient of x, which is 1, right? Those numbers are plus 2 and minus 1. So we're going to have x plus 2, x minus 1 right and then if we go ahead and solve that we're going to get x is equals to minus 2 or x is equals to 1 right so now we have the x values for our um, uh, turning points right you can see that at a x will be minus 2 and then at uh, b x will be equals to 1 now we just need the corresponding y values so let's substitute um minus 2 into f of x you substitute minus 2 into f of x let's do that and see what we're gonna get uh, we're gonna have 2 uh, and then x uh, which is now minus 2 to the power 3 plus 3 uh, minus 2 squared minus 12 multiplied by uh, minus 2 if we put that in our calculator, we're going to get y is equal to 20. So the coordinates of a, we have uh, minus 2 as the x value and 20 as the y value. Now we just need f of 1 to find the y value of b. So we're going to have 2, 1 to the power 3, plus 3, 1 to the power 3, minus 12, multiplied by 1. If you put that in your calculator, you're going to get minus 7, right? So the coordinates of B, we have 1 for the X value and minus 7 for the Y value. So that is 9.1. That's how we're supposed to do it, right? Let's move to 9.2. So 9.2 is saying that uh, let's uh, find for which values of X will F be concave up. So when a question is asking you to find for which values of x will a cubic function be concave up, will a will a cubic function be will a cubic function will a cubic function be concave up or concave down? You need to find the point of inflection. The point of inflection is supposed to be somewhere here in between uh, the x values of the turning point right and then let's say we have determined that point of inflection then that would tell us that um when x is less than our point of inflection our graph is concave down
but then when x is greater than our point of inflection our graph is concave up right uh the part you see in red is concave up and the part you see in green is concave down right but then the concavity it changes uh somewhere at this point right here at this point right here that's where the concavity changes so we need to find the x value where the concavity changes essentially right so how can you find that x value there's two ways of doing it uh, one way of doing it is saying that x is equals to x of the first turning point uh tp1 plus x of uh the second uh turning point divided by two if we do this we will have our point of inflection so x is equals to let's take a as the first turning point uh, so minus two plus one divided by two this is equals to minus one divided by two so when x is greater than minus one divided by two our graph is concave up right this is yeah uh, our first option and then now let me show you another way of doing it because it's very much possible that in the exam you might be able to use only one of the two ways so you need to be fluent in both of them uh, the other way uh, we started with f of x right and then we derivated it to find f prime of x but then we can take it a step forward and find the second derivative if we find the second derivative and we equate that to zero the x value we're going to find is the x value at the point of inflection right so uh f of x uh, is equals to 2x to the 3 plus uh 3x squared minus 12x and then f prime of x will be 6x squared plus 6x minus 12 right and then the second derivative will consequently be 12x plus 6 right now we just need to equate the second derivative to zero in order to find the x value at the point of inflection uh, if we do that we're going to get zero is equals to 12x plus 6 minus 6 is equals to 12x so if we divide both sides by 12 we're gonna get x is equal to minus 1 divided by 2 again x is greater than minus 1 divided by 2 uh, that is when our function is concave up that's the second way of doing it right uh, the last question 9.3 so 9.3 uh what do we have here determine the equation of the tangent to f at point c right so we have uh some tangent here at point at point c and we need an equation for that tangent because the tangent is a straight line uh, we're gonna have some y is equals to mx plus c right so in order to find that equation we need the gradient after substituting the gradient we just need to substitute one other point so that we can find the constant c so how can we possibly find that gradient we have said that f prime of x is the equation of the gradient right and it is equal to 6x squared plus 6x minus 12 right so in this equation we need to substitute x is equal to 2 because that is the coordinate of c right uh where we're looking for the tangent if we substitute x is equal to 2 we're gonna find the gradient at that point let me show you what i'm looking about so we're gonna have f prime of uh, 2 being equals to 6 2 squared plus 6 multiplied by 2 minus 12 right and then if you compute that uh we will get uh, 24. so now we can say that y is equals to 24x plus c now we can substitute the coordinate c and find the constant c i hope you see what i'm talking about so if we do that the y value is 4 at c 24 the x value is 2 plus c right so we have 4 being equals to 48 plus c it's easy to see that c will be equals to minus 44 right so now y is equals to 24x plus c which is minus 44 